Hey, good morning, bro. Let me put you on a little secret. What if I told you there's one mod you could do today and completely transform your C6 Corvette? But this mod only applies if you have a base or a Grand Sport Coupe model. Why? Because the CO6 and the CR1 come with the carbon fiber top. And that's fun and all, but if you don't have those, there's still a little treat for us brokies that couldn't afford those models. I want you to do something, bro. Imagine you're a boomer. It's 2010 and the pension money just hit. And what do you do? You buy a non-convertible C6 Corvette. I know, crazy to freaking imagine you're a boomer without a convertible. It's, it's insane, but just, just bear with me. You're super happy, right? You're spassing me out with excitement. And just when you think it couldn't get any better, the salesman tells you, Mr. Johnson, wait, there's more. You can actually get this beautiful glass top on your Corvette. <laughs> what the f am I saying, bro? Why am I starting off the video like this? All right, bro, so I'm not gonna waste your time. I know your time is really bad when you got better and more important things to do. So I'm not gonna leave you in a cliffhanger. I'm not gonna be edging you on. I'm gonna tell you that the secret is the glass top. And I know it doesn't sound like much, but the Corvette engineers decided to pull a big brain move when they decided to use acrylic glass for the Targa. You literally can't go wrong. So with the Targa on, you can either kind of see the stars at night when you're driving, or you can really see the stars at night when you're driving and you take it off. But actually, let's go inside and let's see what it looks like through the glass top. I know the glass top sounds super simple and it doesn't sound like something I should be making a video about, but it's actually a big deal, man. When I'm telling you, Mysterio's glass top ain't got shit on this one. That dude was out there dissing the dead homies, thinking Spider-Man wasn't gonna slide for Mr. Stark, man. Like Spider-Man's not really out here putting in work for Queens, bro. <laughs> that was probably the last Marvel movie that I watched. It's been a while. But even then, I still know that this glass up is something special. Just look at how cool that looks in the background. It makes the shot look a lot more interesting. Now, if you actually have a C6 Corvette that you just bought and it comes with two tops, the glass top and the hard top, you came up, my guy. You don't know how lucky you are because most people don't get that good of a deal. It's like you found a pretty girl, but she actually has a personality. That's super rare. You don't find that, but you did. And I'm really proud of you for that. And I know you might be saying, Mr. NSA, the glass up is not really a mod. Corvettes came like that from the factory. No, they didn't, bro. No, they didn't. When you bought a Corvette back in the day, you had the option to either go with the glass top or the hard top. Very rare that people get both tops at the same time when they bought the car new. So now when you buy a used Corvette, chances are it's not gonna come with the glass up because the seller already sold the glass up to make money on top of selling his car. Cause that's what I would do and I'm not judging them. And I know you might be saying, you might be thinking to yourself, there's definitely other mods that I can buy with the money that it would cost to get this glass top. But trust me when I say this, bro, that ugly shifter, those ugly headlights are not gonna give you the satisfaction that the glass top is gonna give you. You don't believe me, bro, but I'm gonna convince you. Now, I think we can both agree that the best part of having a target top is that you get the functionality of a convertible without necessarily the ugly looks of the rack top. And yeah, I said it, bro. I'm not taking it back, but I'm not completely dissing them. There is a benefit to being able to blow the brains off the coupe with just hitting a little switch. In a lot of my videos, I do exaggerate about taking the target top off and it's not physically demanding, but I'd be lying if I told you that I don't have second thoughts whenever thinking about removing the glass top because in reality, it's just so many extra steps. When I find it the most inconvenient is, let's say for example, I wanna be cruising in style, right? I take the Targa off, I pull up to the cafe. There's obviously no parking because it's California, so I park like two blocks away. I put like $20 in the meter and the car's gonna be unattended, so I have to put the Targa top back on I go in into the cafe, I pay $12 for the latte, and then I have to walk two blocks down to get into my Corvette again. You wanna be cruising in style again, so I have to remove the top, put it in the trunk, do the whole process, waste a lot of energy, and I have a really fast metabolism, and all that walking, all that movement, makes my stomach kinda of start to hurt, but I just ignore it. I just get in the car, I start driving, right? I'm cruising without the top again, enjoying everything. Life is good, but then, oh no. What is this? My stomach starts hurting and I have to run to the nearest jack in the box, pull over, I have to put the top back on, go through all the steps again, and then I miscalculate my movements and it's just too late. 
I just shat myself. <laughs> I just don't know how else to say this, man. The glass up is the perfect balance, the perfect combination, and I'm tired of puss people saying that they hate the sun rays when they're driving in the car. Bro, the sunlight is good for you either way. I'm probably the only Corvette owner that doesn't have blue eyes, but I believe that even the more Caucasian people are not gonna have an issue with the glass up being too bright for them. It actually filters better than Oakley shades, and you definitely know all about the severe boomer. So another complaint about the glass up that people like to bitch about is that the interior gets too hot during the summer. There is a solution and a way around that if you want to keep the glass up. They actually do sell some shades with suction cups. It's perfectly cut out to the shape of the glass right here. You can put it on and it kind of limits sunlight. It limits the interior from getting hot and deteriorating too fast. So there's no excuse, actually. I think one of the special benefits that you get with the glass top is that when it is raining, it's kind of like a special experience. Shit's gonna get romantic. It doesn't matter if you're by yourself or with a homie, shit's gonna get intimate. It's definitely a beautiful experience when you're sitting inside just looking at the rain hit the glass top. It kind of makes you feel like you're in a music video. Before I step out, um, there's actually one more benefit that I think you get with the glass top and that is that you can just pull up anywhere and sometimes you don't even have to get out of the car. You just roll down the windows, play some nice music and then you can enjoy the view. You can pull out a book, start reading, you can enjoy a nice meal with the extra lighting. This video that you're watching right now, I completely wrote yesterday sitting inside of this car enjoying the glass top. If you bought your C6 and it already had the hard top, you're already used to it, so you don't think it'll be a huge difference switching to the glass top. But I'm telling you, man, there's no better satisfaction than getting top, the glass top. The main benefit that I get with the glass top is that it makes the interior feel, or the car overall, it makes it feel newer, and more luxurious. I don't like to complicate it, I like to keep it simple. I like doing mods to just enhance the driving experience, but don't overwhelm it. And that's the reason why I have a cam, but don't have headers on it. And those are the type of mods that I enjoy doing to the car, and I think you enjoy that as well. Mods like the glass up complement the interior, because if we're being honest, yeah, you can spend that money, uh, usually glass ups go from 500 to 1200. You can spend that money into power mods, but think about this, you only get enjoyment out of those power mods when you are accelerating, when you're hooning. And unless you're a reckless son of a bitch, that's rarely. But if you get something that's gonna enhance the interior, just the enjoyment of the drive, you're gonna get the enjoyment every time you hop in and you drive it. Just stop being a bitch, just get the glass up, bro. You definitely could use a little bit of tan so you can become this um, beautiful hazelnut color like your boy here. But no, seriously, this top, I actually got an excellent deal. I had to drive all the way from San Diego to LA to pick up this glass top, but I picked it up for $550. That is a freaking steal. And the best part about it is the guy that I bought the glass top from actually recognized me from the video and he had a Corvette. I think he was moving on to something a little bit, a little bit better. I mean, I don't really need to go in depth any further. There's so many benefits to having the glass top. Like for example, it's a lot lighter than the hard top, so it makes it easier to take in and out. If I didn't convince you by now, bro, I don't know what the hell is gonna convince you. Click off the video, go and buy it. And if not, if you're gonna stick around, go and watch the other videos so that I can afford to put more mods in these cars and make more videos for you. So uh, see you next week.